Good morning, world. Welcome to Tech Tomorrow. Very, very freaking exciting news. Today is launch day for the new freaking contender for the mid-level video card king. What the hell am I talking about? You folks know. We're talking about the new GeForce GTX 660 Ti. That's right. And I got my hands on the overclocked version from Gigabyte. So let's now do the unboxing, tease you with the card, and then later today, well, probably just a few minutes from after this video, you can see the full review. But for now, let's jump in and let's just do the unboxing of the new GeForce GTX 660 Ti overclocked version from the people at Gigabyte. Let's dig in. <laughs> Alright folks, so here we see the box, not much to it. You guys can see it's got the Windforce anti-turbulence cooling on it, their Trion cooling, OC version, 2 gigabytes GDR5, GeForce GTX 660 Ti. Here goes some more fun facts real quick on the side of the box, you guys can see those. Kabloomy, kablammy. Here is the back of the box. You guys can see all the fun facts there. This is just the unboxing. All the goodness will come later. Now let's look at the nomenclature. Any folks looking out there to buy the card? Here's the nomenclature. Now, one thing that these guys are pushing though is that anybody who buys this online from certain e-tailers, you're going to be able to get a free copy of Borderlands 2, the game, when you buy this card. So make sure you look online for the selected people that are doing that. It'll be pretty cool shiznick and the game is badass. So card has lots of features that are supposed to go with it. Let's just go ahead and pull it out here. Flip the box around here, take the cappy. Got the driver CD, has their OC Guru 2 software, all that kind of stuff. Set that off to the side. Here's a graphics card quick installation guide. Pretty easy stuff. Just tells you how to hook up your video card and all that stuff with the power. Very easy stuff. There's that. The accessories, not a lot in this one. You just got your two Molex to dual six pin. So if you got an old school power supply, those are right there. Now let's get to the heart of the matter, the card itself that everybody's waiting to see. And here we have it. So as we first take a look at the card, we can see right off the bat the two giant sized fans. These are part of that Windforce anti-turbulent cooling system. Below that, we can see the aluminum heat fans and then we can see the heat pipes with the copper all throughout the card. This is keeping it cool. The card's also made out of very high quality Japanese components. It's supposed to have a very long lifespan. Actually, the cooler the card runs, the longer the lifespan of the card. So here we see the two SLI fingers. Now this card only supports triple SLI, it does not support quad SLI. I don't know why, but that's just what they've said. I'll go ahead and put this little protector back on it. And slap that back on it. Here's the back of the card. You guys can see that the card is a nice blue PCB. Some people like that, some people don't. I don't really care. Here is the PCI interface down here. This is a new PCIe 3.0 interface. You guys all know that. We can see the cooling solution very clearly all throughout here. I'll try to get up here to the camera so we can get a better zoom on that so you folks can see it. You guys can see all the fins in the aluminum heatsink. Copper heat pipes inside of there. Dissipating all the heat away from the GPU, away from the car, and then with the, the, these big huge fans blowing against it, just better heat dissipation away from the GPU. Flip it around, let you guys just take a side angle view, or a long angle view if you want to call it that. Let's flip it back up on top. You can, guys can see right here, there's two six pin power connectors here. Let's flip it around. You guys can see the rear IO. Two DVI ports, HDMI, and display port. My actual preference, I like this one the best. I wish every card had this rear IO. It's my, actually my favorite rear IO. So that's it, man. It's launch day. Look for the full review, probably right after you watch this video.